Hey guys, it's Wonder. Come back at you with a video. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do a video on, so I just thought I would kind of try and look up past like tarot challenges, look up some questions, pick a few, you know, um, and then answer them. So this it, these questions are actually I found from uh, Benabel Wynn's website from a 30-day challenge that she did back in like 2013, I think it said, like March 2013. Um, so I just chose five, and um, I thought it'd be really fun to answer them for you. So, first off, does anyone you know not agree with your tarot practices? And yes, that is a big resounding yes. Um, I do have some family who not only tarot, but also my witchcraft spirituality things they don't necessarily agree with um also where i work and in my job um it has been made very clear that they don't they don't like tarot they think it's evil they think you know i'm just asking evil things to come to me um and it has made things awkward or difficult you know but and and when those times arise where someone does express their opinion on how they feel about tarot um I try to not get like defensive or mad and I just try to take the moment to maybe just like educate and like explain and just kind of be like like an ambassador for tarot you know and just kind of explain that it's not all of the stereotypes and hypes that it, that it has been, you know, portrayed to be. And, but yeah. Uh, next question. Do you practice any other forms of divination? If so, what is it? And do you use them alongside the tarot as to gain more insight or as something separate entirely? So I do, um, I have just recently, and I used to a lot, um, do runes. Um, I did in my unboxing video. I just got a set of runes um, from The Witch's Moon. So I have been um, a couple times on my daily draws that I've been doing. I have been also pulling a rune um, and including that in my reading for my daily draws. Um, but there are so many different kinds of divination that um, I am just trying to like keep my mind open. Um, whatever comes to me comes to me. Um, I know the other girls that or women that I practice with, um, Salt, she does runes and she does soul readings. Um, B does, um, she reads candle wax. Um, one other friend, M, she, uh, she throws the dominoes. And then our other friend, N, she, um, she actually fire reads. Um, so she reads the flame of like a candle or what have you. And it's super, super freaking cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm always open to new forms of divination. Um, I But I do use them both with tarot and separately. Um, let's see, when and where did you give your first reading? <laughs> so this is way back in college days. We were actually... Um, living in our dorm and it was me and my friend salt and one other friend um and we were actually down in the common area and i and i had my tarot cards and i was just you know shuffling and we were chatting and stuff um and she actually saw and she stopped by and she was like hey do you give readings you know blah, blah whatever and i was like sure had never really like read for like a stranger I had did like simple little like one or two cards for like f for like friends and it wasn't really that like serious so I don't really consider them like a a reading um but she came up and she asked me and I was like sure so we went separate and I actually did the Celtic cross spread um and I don't even really remember her question or what I said, um, I really just remember one moment in particular when, and, and like side little story, um, this was like the first, like the first 
true time that I that I like knew and I realized that I could connect to my intuition with tarot and that I could connect to the other with tarot um and and so I was looking at the cards and I don't and I didn't know why because it didn't even really like wasn't even included in her question or pertain to her question but I looked at a card and I'm pretty sure it was, it was either the a long time ago either the emperor or the king of wands i want to say um but i looked at the card and i asked her i said is there a like a father figure or a male figure in your life that you always go to for you know like advice and for problems she was like yes and i said have you gone to him about this and she said no and I said, well, you need to talk to him. And in that moment, I realized the potential, I guess, that Tarot had. Um, I always kind of knew and I always knew that to read the cards was, you know, like a privilege and, you know, to sit across the cards and to talk, talk to someone over their problems or what have you, it was a privilege. But in that moment... I knew that it was like going to be a very large part of my life and I knew that once I connected that first time with my intuition and with spirit or other I knew I would never be able to go back um, you have those moments in your life where like in those moments, you just have a knowing that they are going to change your life. And that was one of my moments. Um, that I knew Tara would always be a part of my life. Whether it was, you know, the main focus or not. It would always to be a part of my life. But yeah, that was my first reading. Um, next question. How much emphasis do you put on the textbook meanings for cards? And how much stress do you place on the feeling you get from the cards through their artwork, symbolism, etc.? Do you do both or one or the other? So I am a very big supporter of intuitive reading. I, I tell people a lot, trust your gut, go with your instinct. If you look at a card and your gut is telling you something different than what the book says, it seems like I always have to burp at least once in every video I do. Um, but if you're looking at a card and your gut is telling you something different than what the book is saying, I always say to go with your gut, okay? But if you look at a card and you don't get anything intuitively, it, it's nice to be able to fall back on the book meaning, right? So, and I feel like I am a little... I'm not in the middle, I'm closer to intuitive reading, but there are times if I look at a card and it's just blank, I get nothing. Nothing is like coming to me for whatever reason, I'll fall back on the general little white book meanings and it does, it helps, right? But I am, I am a big cheerleader for intuitive reading. Trust your gut, go with your instincts. Um, do you feel a connection to your cards? Yes, I definitely do. Um, there are some decks that I have a much stronger connection to than others. Of course, you know, I do have quite a few decks, so I don't always get to use all of them as much as I would like to. Um, but there are a few that I do have a very strong connection to, like, let me just grab like it was one of my first videos I did and I talked about my oldest deck and I keep it in this little box and it was the medieval Scapini deck um I do have a very deep connection and attachment to this deck um I will never get rid of this deck this will always be in my collection um I don't use it as much as I used to, of course, but 
I will never get rid of this deck. This is probably one of the decks that if my house was on fire and I could run into my room and only grab a few things, this or probably this deck would be one of the few things that I would grab. Um, and I just, I love it. Do, do, do. But yeah, there's um, decks that I of course have a stronger connection to than others, but I do have connections. Um, and um, I was reading over Benabelle Wynn's answers to these and she she made a good point that, you know, she has a deck of the um, Rider Waite Smith and that she has a connection to her deck, but if she were to go out and just buy a new, like, blah, 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 Rider Waite Smith deck, she wouldn't have that connection or, it, you know, it wouldn't really work for her. It's because it's that deck. Yeah, now this, this deck is the one that... I connect to. Even if I get another um, medieval Scalpini deck, I don't think I would have as deep of a connection because this deck did belong to my sister, then to me. Hopefully I am able to pass it on to someone in my life. So this is one of my most, most important decks. Um, but yeah, so I just picked five questions. I thought they'd be cool to answer for you guys. Um, let me know what your answers are, or if you do a video and you answer but tarot questions, I would love to watch it. Um, but much love, blessings, and growth, and I hope you have a wonderful, magical, beautiful day.